Come out with the job. Amen. Amen. Come on now. If you really look at what your life consists of since you've been saved and how many times you have asked the Lord to forgive you since you've been saved, you would agree with me that you've done some things that you shouldn't have done. And so therefore, why should I expect Deacon Wells to make a hundred on all the tests? I know we sing a song 99 and a half won't do it. The only way you're going to make that hundred is through Jesus Christ. You're not going to make it out of your own works. We're always asking God to forgive us for something. All the time. And if we would examine ourselves, we'll find out we got so much room for improvement. I know I do. Somebody say, I know I do. And so Peter had a concern here. And uh, the Lord gave him an answer. The answer that he gave him, and thank you, Sister Zaquita, for that generous, I forgot to put you in there, for that generous donation of the singles group. But the Lord answered. He said, since you said seven times, uh -huh. it sounded like Peter been going through something all the time. All right. Sounded like he had a problem with somebody yeah. that was closely related with him. All right. And he seemingly got tired of forgiving and he wanted an answer from the Lord. Yeah. Should I just cut this person off or should I just get rid of him? Come on now. Should I throw him away? Should I just get so far back and don't say hello? If I see that person, should I go around the block? Should I dodge him because they're on my last nerve? Or should I stand off away from him? Or uh, what should I do? Because yeah. I'm tired yeah. of forgiving this brother. Yeah. Yeah. And people ask questions because they are related to things that they've been involved in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anytime yeah. folk ask you something, uh, I want to ask you a question. Don't you think it's because Bobo need to know the answer? They need the answer. Yeah. And so Peter said, is, is something going on? Some, some things the Bible don't tell us about. Yeah. And so he said to him, how many times do I have to forgive my brother? Yeah. Yeah. Unforgiveness takes effort. Yeah. Holding grudges yeah. takes a lot of effort. Yeah. You got to keep that fresh in your mind yeah. to hold on to jump. Yeah. But it's so easy to let stuff go. I should have got two or three more in there. I said it's very easy to turn things loose, but it takes a lot of effort to hold on to something that won't help you. And when you hold on to that kind of stuff, it makes you sick. It makes your spirit ugly. It causes you. Amen. To have attitude problems. You have rage in your spirit. And you can't get along with people. Why? Because of holding on to things that you need to let go. If, if we don't let things go, it causes the fellowship of the spirit to be destroyed. The Bible teaches us that we ought to be endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bonds of peace. Oh, I ain't preaching on nobody, but I just feel like it, this is something I need to talk about sometimes. Somebody say amen. Somebody say, well, who's the pastor talking about? Nobody. But why is he preaching? Because I'm talking about everybody. I'm to say everybody. I'm not picking nobody out on this. I'm just letting you know that we all need to have and be reminded of how to forgive one another. Because we can't be one when we don't have forgiveness. I can't get no amen. You have a clique in the church. You have a group over here. You have some working this way. You have some that won't work that way. And won't nobody be united. And then we want the Holy Ghost to move in the house where we can't even be walking. Do y'all know the Holy Ghost is not a fool? He's a holy 
Amen. He's a Holy Spirit. And he doesn't dwell in an unclean temple. And he causes us, amen, to be one in the Spirit. And so the Holy Ghost in you, glory to God, causes you to line up. And amen. And stay in your lane and stay in your place and try your best not to offend somebody. And if you do that, you ought to try to make it right. Am I right about it? Say amen. I think we got some things we need to get straight. I think a lot of us sometimes need to take time to work out some situations. Because I don't want to, amen, have an organist that I'm, amen, playing for me while I'm preaching. Yeah. Yeah. And then me and him can't get along. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? I don't want to have a, a sister, amen, working with me. Right. And me and him can't, amen, get along.